Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday, May the 6th, 2013. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Monday vlogger, B. This week's topic has to do with using your tool uh, and some keys to success. The question reads like this. It says, when someone asks you, how do you use your weight loss surgery tool, or what should I be doing to be successful like you with my weight loss surgery, what do you say? Well, this is really kind of cut and dried because if you have had or are considering weight loss surgery, you already have all of the tools that you need to be successful. It's that simple list of rules that you get about eating your protein first and not drinking after meals and getting exercise every week and and all of those things. Uh, that's it. That's all you have to do. And if you do those things day in and day out, you'll be successful. Um... The biggest part, the hardest part, is simply doing them. And that's kind of like the old adage, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And, it, and you can, I can sit here and tell you, and your doctor can tell you, and your little piece of paper can tell you everything you need to do to be successful, but you have to do it. And that's where your motivation comes in, that's where your PMA comes in, that's where your accountability partners come in. These are all things that we have to have to be successful. And if we don't have them... It can be it can be very difficult because the the knowing might be half the battle, but it's the easy part. It's the doing that becomes um, becomes tough. You know, it's the doing that makes it difficult. It's the doing that makes it a challenge. It's the doing that that makes it such an amazing thing when you're in the right place. And not only doing but realizing when you're not doing and being able to, to pick yourself back up and put yourself back on track. And that's what those accountability partners are for. That's what those, uh, that's what those trips every six weeks to the doctor are for. It's, just, it's to keep your body and your mind in check. And, and, and I think that, that those things are equally as important. But by far, the toughest part of this entire journey is just simply doing it. You know, it's, that's... Um, I think that's why the the uh, the Nike slogan was such a, a big big success. You know, just do it because it's not it's not just do it. You know, I mean, yeah, it's just do it, but it's a hell of a lot easier said, a hell of a lot more easier said. Is that right? I don't know. My English isn't working well this morning. It's a lot. Of, it's it's easier said than done, regardless. And and that to me is the most difficult part. Um, and when people ask me, what, what do I have to do? You have to be diligent. You have to do it every day. You have to convince, convince yourself that there are no other options. You know, this is it. And you have to, you have to get up every morning and say, okay, it's time to, to hit the gym. Okay, it's time to go for a walk. Okay, it's time to run. And when you get ready to sit down and eat, you have to say, okay, I have to eat my chicken. And then maybe if I have a little room in my stomach, I'll eat my rice. You know, and I think another thing is is becoming in tune with your body, being able to recognize the signals that your your body gives you, and not just with your weight loss surgery tool, but with your entire body. You know, when it comes to things like needing more water, or um, you know, needing more sodium, or needing to take your vitamins, or needing to go work out or maybe needing some cardio today instead of some some strength because maybe your knees hurting or your back's hurting or, or whatever whatever your ailment might be um your body is constantly talking to you and it'll tell you what it wants and what it needs and you have to become in tune with it to to be able to listen and to understand and to give it what it needs um there's a lot of things you know i i didn't, didn't realize until i started listing them off I probably should have put them on paper, but they're all very simple when you say them out loud. Uh, but when it comes time to doing them, it's it's quite a different story. It's it's a very mental game. I've said this, and other blo other vloggers have said this. You know, this game is very very much mental game journey, whatever you want to call it. It's um, it's very mental. It's a very small portion of it is physical, which is kind of strange, but it's true. And you have to be a master of all things mental 
along your journey to be successful. And if you can do that, even a little bit, you'll be successful. So that's it. That's all I got this week. Pretty simple. Ooh! It's the 6th. In... Hold on. I'm gonna get the calendar out. In less than... 10 days. Is it 7, 10? 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 exactly. Is the proof... Not proof. We're not doing this. It's the WLSFA's mother of all meet and greets right here in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm going to be there. I didn't think I was going to be. Um, might have some big news coming up, but not until after the meet and greet. Uh, I'm going to be there. It's just right down the street. I hope you guys are going to be there. My contact information is in the doobly-doo. It will be in the doobly-doo next week. Make sure you look me up when you get here. I'd love to meet all of you guys. Uh, and in the meantime, make sure you thumbs up. Don't thumbs down. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Come back and see us tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works video. Come back and see me on Monday for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlog. Guys, have a wonderful week and take care. Bye.